Hey, how's it going? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. A new species of dinosaur has been discovered in the UK. Four bones were found off England's south coast, and now scientists reckon it's a new dino and a cousin of the T-Rex. Charlotte checked it out. Imagine taking a stroll down the beach and stumbling across... Wait, whoa, is that a dinosaur bone? I hope so. Looks like it. That's right. Last year, a few fossil hunters discovered four bones on the Isle of Wight here in England. They were taken to a lab and carefully studied by researchers at the University of Southampton, who now say they're actually from a brand new species of dinosaur. Introducing the vector innovator, um, the, the vector... Uh. Vectero veneto inopinatus. Inopinatus means unexpected. Vect, came from vectis for Isle of Wight. Aero, because these bones are completely hollow. And veneto, which is Latin for hunter. So we've called it the airfield hunter, the unexpected airfield hunter from the Isle of Wight. They say the airfield hunter is a theropod dinosaur that lived in the Cretaceous period 115 million years ago, which means it's kind of a relative of modern day birds and arguably the most famous dino, the Tyrannosaurus rex. Researchers say they're still learning more about the new species and are hoping for some more beachside discoveries to help them put the pieces together. The island nation of Mauritius is still dealing with a huge oil spill. Thousands of volunteers are helping to clean up the spill, which has polluted this normally pristine area. There is some good news though. Almost all of the remaining oil on the ship that ran aground here a few weeks ago has now been pumped out. For the second year in a row, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been named the world's highest paid male actor. According to Forbes, he took home a cool $122 million, far ahead of his closest rivals Ryan Reynolds and Mark Wahlberg. More than 25% of all the earnings on the list came from the deals made with Netflix. Today is International Left-Handers Day. It's all about celebrating the uniqueness of left-handedness and some of its challenges. Only about one in 10 of us is left-handed, and I'm not one of them. But luckily, Kale is, and he can tell you all about it. Charlotte, have some respect. What do you mean? Writing with your right hand on International Left-Handers Day. Pardon me? <laughs> International Left-Handers Day. Yep, today is the day to celebrate all things left, from inky hands to awkward shakes. Around 10% of the population is left-handed, including some pretty famous faces. Who's that handsome left-handed devil? No one really knows why there are so few lefties. Some reckon it's got to do with our genes, but it might also have a bit to do with history. In the past, lefties have been called unclean, possessed by the devil, or even witches. It's a witch! Where? And back when everyone wrote with ink, kids were actually forced to use their right hand, even if they were left-handed. These days, things are a lot easier, but lefties are still living in a right-handed world, whether it's trying to learn an instrument or use a pair of scissors. But to all the Southpaws, the Goofies and the Molly Dukas, today is our day. So let's show the world that us left-handers are all right. All right, no, wait. One time, this person kept calling me Sophie, even though that's not my name. That's an experience these next creatures can really relate to. It's time for You've Mistaken Me for an Aquatic Animal. What's that out there swimming off the coast of Germany? A dolphin? A shark? Oh no, it's just a wild boar taking a dip in the heat. Which seriously surprised beachgoers, especially when it hit the shore. Dear penguins, rays and jellyfish, are you aquatic animals? Yes, you are. But the people visiting this amazing aquarium in Taiwan aren't. Although standing in a room like this, it's easy to see how you might get a bit confused. And speaking of confusing, is that a goat on a paddleboard? Despite not typically being an aquatic creature, Mr Mayhem has really taken to it, like a duck to water. Hey, that's an aquatic creature. Oh wait, no it's not. Now, if you want to learn more about aquatic animals and maybe a little bit of news on the side, then make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching.